Hello, Wanda here, the Foiling Rock Lady, and I want to show you some ideas about embellishing uh, your rocks after you've foiled them or during the foiling process, one or the other. This is an example. This is a rock that I previously foiled, and I added an embellishment here. And here's another example. So I will show you how I did that, a different embellishment on a different rock. So what I want to do is I have uh, started here already. I just drew a circle with my compass and then I put my piece that I want to apply to my rock and drew a circle to make sure it was all centered and everything. And so now I'm going to line, I'm going to do a gold line here, and then I'm going to add the glue to do the foil. The gold line should help the glue to stay put. This is Folk Art Treasure Gold 3081E. It's a very gold gold. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's so bright and gold. <laughs> so bright and vivid. This is a dessert, um, like a cupcake stand, a spinner. Comes in so handy when you're doing circles. When you're doing your compass, you just put it down and spin your tray. So anyways, do your line. If I can keep it on straight here. And then we're going to add our glue, the nail art foil glue, and I use MAC art, um, but I also found a new brand called SXC. It is also available on Amazon. It's a little less expensive, and I think it works just as well. So it's always nice to save a buck or two. Okay, I will probably most definitely touch up this liner or reline after the foil is on. I prefer my gold thicker. And you want to make sure before you put any glue on that your paint is dry or it can undermine the foil. This is the edge of our foil, so it's you could fudge a little bit, but that rule is really, really important if you're adding glue on top of a painted, a full painted surface. No glue on wet paint, okay? Okay, while that's drying a bit, let's talk about the embellishments. So you can get embellishments from old jewelry you have lying around, necklaces, bracelets, earrings. Um, I have picked up some just charms in the jewelry making jewelry section at Walmart. And this had, you know, a bunch of different pieces on it. Um, this one was on there too. 
and I've removed them and taken off their the bit that you would put the jump ring in so I've taken off the little hoop the hook of my pieces so this piece here it's still on there I took some flat nose pliers and just gently broke it off like that and you've got your piece And these have all been done already. I took it off of all of these pieces. So here I'm going to uh, apply the glue to the entire circle. Because I want to do a foil in here See, that's why you got to let paint dry. I think we're looking good. Just want to make sure it's around the edges. And then with your light, you want to cure this. I'm going to have to probably do it in two separate cycles because it's a big area and I have a little light so I'll do half and half okay our glue is cured and I have picked out a foil here um, that I want to do the section with so I'm going to do it in sections the section in sections we'll lay that down and use my silicone tip nail tool to smooth out my nail full. Now this is a thicker nail foil and sometimes these will give you trouble when you are putting them on. So when you remove them you want to go very, very slow and lift little bits at a time. And most of the time with these big thicker ones they come off more, more comes off than what you wanted. And I'll show you a way to remove that too, or to try to remove it. So, I think we're on. Now, you see this part here? This is why you go slow. You don't tear it all off at once. See the pieces that didn't lay down? And you could see that on the rock. So you lay your foil right back down in that place. And then you rub that down. Try to get it to release onto the rock in the places that it didn't. It's 
pretty good. Okay, pull up another section and do the same thing. Stick it back down if there were places it didn't go in. This is a patterned foil, so you gotta be careful. It's real hard to line up places if you remove the whole foil. So there's half, it's pretty. There's a section that didn't, oh no, yeah it did. That's the flower, <laughs> I thought it didn't in here. Okay, and we can touch that up. So we can do the other side. And you wanna try to line it up similarly. Is that a word? <laughs> so which part of this was that? It was here. about good so those are similar colors on each side so hopefully this line in the middle won't be as noticeable as what we're trying to achieve but we're gonna have a big thing here so it won't be very noticeable hopefully if it works <laughs> it'll work huh It's going to work because we're patient and we can do it. So remember to go slow when releasing. Make sure your edges are... Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you got to really tear hard, but... Make sure that it's down. Okay, I think it's good. Need a few spots here. Okay, not too bad. All right, we can touch up the black paint here. And this is a, exactly why you gotta be patient and let your paint dry. Don't be like me.
you just go around and touch up the spots that need it and then you can go back with your gold and do another line a final gold line around it Okay, so I'm going to work on this while that's drying. So we're going to put top coat. This comes in, I'm so off. Top coat, yeah. These come in the kits. You can get uh, the glue, some foils, and it comes with top coats, base coats. That one's a MAC Art, and I'm going to use the SXC top coat tonight test it out and see what we got going here. So I'm going to cover this whole circle with top coat. Just like I did with the glue. The really cool thing about top coat is it cures in 60 seconds, sometimes 30 seconds depending on your light. It's a UV top coat, so it requires light to cure. But once it's cured, it's part of the rock forever. It's like resin, but it's instant. So in that aspect, I guess it would be like UV resin. And it's in a wipe, so it's good to go without having to wipe the sticky layer. Okay. Now I'm going to drop this in it. Kind of where I want it. Make sure you're wearing gloves if you're working with glue and UV light. Okay, and then I'm going to cure while it's sitting there and then I'll put some top coat on top of the top coat <laughs> to make sure that our embellishment is adhered good and strong Okay, that one is cured. We're going to add another top coat to the top coat. <laughs> another coat of top coat, this time over your embellishment. Make sure you put enough on it to where it will glue it in there. I'm sorry I keep bumping that. <laughs> it's new. Uh, yeah. Third YouTube video, so please... Please forgive me. I will get better. I promise. I will try harder. So I'm basically just putting enough in here to make sure that it's going to glue it down nice and secure. But not enough to where it's dripping around the sides. Okay. Okay, I think that's probably good. <laughs> and then set your light on it again. You want to do probably one cycle, maybe two, just to make sure. Okay, we're going to give it another cycle. Okay. Almost done. I can assure you that that is part of this rock forever, I think. I'm pretty sure. So with that being said, if you are hiding your rocks out in the wild wilderness where little animals can get at it and pick at it, 
maybe not such a good idea to embellish your painted rocks. I don't think that any animal could get this off of this rock because it is like in there. It's basically resin and it's in there. But for the sake of, uh, you know, safety, don't hide your rocks if you have rhinestones or embellishments on them, okay? These are for gifts or drop them off at a facility that you want to do donate them to if you're spreading kindness, which this rock will end up at our cancer ward here. Um, I'm going to write hope on it down here. So I will take my pencil and sketch out my word. Sorry, I have to turn it sideways. Hope down here. So, and then I will write that with my gold paint. I will trace it in there. Let's see, I might need to change that bit. Good thing about pencil, huh? <laughs> See if you can see better here. Sorry. And the E. So there's hope on your embellished rock. And that is staying on there. So hopefully that gives you some ideas for embellishing future rocks. I know sometimes I put foil and paint my rocks up and then don't know what to do with them. And then they look very empty. <laughs> so you can add your own little attitude and your own little style to them. For instance, 
I have a hummingbird here. And I have a bird feeder. And I will add those to this rock and this will be my spring, a springy piece. And I have my crackle here. Hmm. I can add a bow or some butterflies, you know, a piece here and there. Sorry. Like a butterfly here and there around it. There's really no limit. You can do a bunch of things, pretty much. Sky's the limit. Put a bow on your fish. Thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed what you saw here, please hit subscribe and like. And come on over to ROA, hashtag ROA Rockin' Our Art on Facebook for more tutorials and free content. Thank you very much.